How can you make a bucket server in Minecraft? Let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, you want to get the bucket file. Now, in the description down below, you will find this. This is a link to our text guide on getting bucket, but the most important part is it has a link to download bucket here. When you click that, you go to this, which is the bucket download page. Now, before we download anything, I do want to mention that the server you're starting here is not going to be up all the time. It's only going to be up and running when your computer is up and running. And along with that, it's also going to be using your own internet connection, meaning anyone who gets the IP address of this server can DDoS you as well as figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates, meaning you're only going to want to give this server out to your friends, your family, people that you trust. Last but not least, you have to do something called port forwarding to get your friends to join this server, which can be pretty complex. But what if you don't want to do any of that? You want to just have a server up and running in a few minutes without port forwarding, without having to worry about security, your own internet connection, anything like that, that's up 24 seven. And on top of all of that, doesn't use your own computer's resources at all and has great live chat support there to help you out should you run into any issues. Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start a bucket server in just a few minutes. On top of that, once you have your server, it's really easy to add plugins to it. And if you decide to use mods instead of plugins, you can add mods, mod packs, and all of that as well. Truly, the server is yours and you can customize it however you want. Lastly, if you do decide to use mod packs, there's one click mod pack installation. Oh, and I should also mention there's expert live chat support there. So when your server has an issue, which unfortunately it probably will, especially if you keep your server for years, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way and fix any of those issues you may encounter. So go check out Simple Game Host and get the first link in the description down below with the breakdown.xyz slash simple and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nonetheless, let's assume you do want to go ahead and start a server on your own computer. Well, here we are on the bucket download page. Once you're here, find the version you want. We're going to be going with the most recent here, but this will work for pretty much any version of bucket and then go ahead and click download. It will take you here where you want to click on this craft bucket basically link here this dot jar and when you do it will go ahead and start downloading you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser but for me it downloaded you're 100 safe to keep it though as long as it says craft bucket in the title nonetheless at this point we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to make a new folder on our desktop so right click new folder i'm going to name this bucket server but you can name it whatever you want and then we want to move the file we downloaded into it so in our case that's going to be in our downloads folder here take this and move it into that bucket server folder open this folder up and then in here you have this craft bucket dot jar if you don't have dot jar at the end click on view at the top and make sure file name extensions is checked because without it you won't have dot jar now what we want to do is go to the description of this video and find this this is basically codes that you will use to start your server and we have two gigabytes and four gigabytes that corresponds with how much ram the server has so a four gigabyte server is this one right here and we're going to copy this again it's in the description of this video and then we want to go ahead and right click and create a new text document. Open this text document and paste that code into it. So as you can see here, it's the same code from the description, right like so, and then go ahead and click file save as, and then you can save this as a run.bat file. So your file name is going to be run.bat, and then the save type as is all files. So file name run.bat, save type as, all files, and click save. Now finally, we have this run.bat file, but don't click it yet. What we now want to do is find that craft bucket file we moved in here, right click and rename it to simply bucket. It should be bucket.jar if you had those file name extensions box checked here. But at this point, we can now double click the run.bat and the server will attempt to start. Now, you should get some files and folders here, but eventually it will fail. You need to agree to the ULA. If for whatever reason you don't get the ULA.txt as well as maybe the logs file here and stuff, if you don't get this, you need to get Java. And in the description down below, we have a link to our in-depth guide on getting Java for my Minecraft servers, and this is what you need to start a Minecraft server on your computer. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java and make them work together. But first get Java, then run the jar fix, and then you'll be able to double click that run.bat and get this eula.txt file. Open that up, and assuming you agree to the Minecraft eula here, which we do, change eula equals false to eula equals true. T-R-U-E exactly like that, and then click file, save. Now what we want to do is finally double click the run.bat file, and our server will start. At this point, we can actually go ahead and join it. So I'm going to let the server come online here and I will join the server. You are the only person that can join your server, but it's worth testing at this point. So let's do it. So here we are. The server is online and we are in Minecraft. Now, if we go into multiplayer here, we can, like I said, go ahead and join this server. Go ahead and add it. Now, only you can join this server. So we're going to be calling this local connection because it's just local. It's only you and local to your computer that can join using this. But then the server address is local host, right? So server address, local host, all one word, all lowercase, exactly like that and click done 
after a few seconds, there it is. There is a local connection. And if we double click on it, we can join on in on the left-hand side. We'll see Nick's Games has joined in and this is our bucket server. Now, like I said, your friends can't join yet. And in order for your friends to join, you'll need to port forward. And luckily we have an in-depth guide on that in the description. This covers everything. It's in text format. It's super well outlined, every single part of it. And there is of course an in-depth video that we keep super up to date because it's very common that port forwarding is the most difficult part of starting a Minecraft server. So this guide is best as a dedicated guide showing you how to get this set up and done. Like I said, we've got it in text format. We've got it in video format. It covers everything that you need to know. Um, I believe probably this video here is 12 minutes versus, you know, probably shorter than this bucket video is. We've also got this link down below, which is how to fix a broken Minecraft server. Often you'll run into server issues when you're hosting a server. And this is here to help you troubleshoot those issues and fix any issues you may have along the way. So um, yeah, we're checking out and watching as you're kind of continuing your Minecraft server hosting journey. But for your friends to join, you will need to port forward and they will then join using your public IP. But that's all covered in this video. Nevertheless, at this point, you now know how to make a bucket server. If you wanted to add plugins to this server, by the way, right here it is in your main bucket server directory or that bucket.jar and that run.bat file we created are, you can go into plugins and any plugins you want to install can be added right here into this plugins folder. It's that easy to add the plugins. You'll obviously need to stop the server by coming over here and typing stop into the console right like so and hitting enter. That'll shut down the server right like so properly. And now you can start the server back up with your plugins. And then once the server started, you can actually use a plugins command to see what plugins are active on the server. Cool little thing to be able to check what's working, what's not working, what's showing up, what's not, all of that. But nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But you now know how to make a bucket server in Minecraft. If you do have any questions, we are more than happy to help you out. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next video. My name is Nick and I am out. Peace.